Hi, this is Ken Kaplan from Kaplan Cycles and the New England Motorcycle Museum. And this is Rich O'Connor's uh, motorcycle. Rich is a local motorcycle mechanic who restored this for himself. Uh, it's been on display in the museum for a little over two years. And Rich decided to sell it, so um, he needs some funds. Rich runs the Sturbridge Ice Race Series and he needs to sell it to pay for the insurance for the Ice Racing Series. So, give you a little background on this bike. Rich bought this bike and did a complete frame off restoration. By that, I mean it was completely dismantled, a nut and bolt restoration. He estimated he put over 70 hours of labor into it. Do the math. If you pay a shop, even at 60 bucks an hour, it's still $4,200 of labor and well over $1,000 in parts. So, he bought this to a shop and said, make my 65 look this pretty. You're going to spend a fortune. Um, I guess I'll start at the top. It's got a brand new NLS Honda seat. Look at the bottom of the seat, Kenny. Can you zoom in on that? Impeccable, brand new seat. The gas tank looks like an NLS gas tank. Um, it's in absolutely beautiful condition. It's got a little bit of gas in there. It's been, uh, the gas has been in there for a couple of years, so it's probably going to need a car clean. Uh, currently it's not running, so just sell it as is, so that's what we're doing. Um, the paint job is gorgeous. Look at the sticker on the, on the gas tank. Brand new Honda 50 NOS sticker or replica sticker. The hardware on the shocks is brand new chrome. The uh, rear fender is in stunning, you know, museum quality condition. Um, both on the bottom and top, it's been completely uh, refurbished and painted. The swing arm's in beautiful shape. These look like NOS shocks. I don't have a list of what he put on here NOS, but I'm pretty sure uh, the shocks are NOS. He said he put a lot of NOS parts on the He said he searched for parts for, for months. It took him over a year to put the thing together. Um, he actually stripped the, the wheel completely apart, took the hub apart, painted it, and clear coated it. Um, the spokes are brand new, as are the rims. These are brand new rims, front and rear, and they're in perfect condition. And he laced them up beautifully, nice and straight. And it has a brand new 225 by 17 rear tire tube and rim bag rim band. The chain and sprockets are also brand new. It has a black sprocket and a gold anodized chain. Can you tell the chain's gold in the video? Um, well, if you can't, uh, hopefully the pictures will show it. The rear pegs are brand new, NOS pegs. The front pegs are NOS pegs. The um, ignition it works beautifully. I think it's an NOS ignition. The rear tail light looks to be in brand new condition. So everything on the outside of the bike is basically museum quality brand new. The chrome uh, cover on the airbox is in brand new condition. The original fiberglass shroud is in great shape. The engine, looking at the motor, um, it looks to be in new condition. He completely dismantled the whole engine right down to the cases and rebuilt it from uh, the engine up. Um, he said that when he had the valves lapped, that um, the guy didn't have a tool small enough to lap the valves properly, so they did it by hand. So the compression, he said, was a little bit on the low side, but it did run when he parked it. I uh, just want to note that, that's what he told us. Uh, we're selling it for him, so that's basically um, uh, what I have to tell you about that. The carburetor is in beautiful condition. The Honda 50 decal on the front is original decal, as is the headlight. The grips are NOS new grips. The turn signals are in beautiful shape. I do want to note there's a little crack on the turn signal right here. Um, the original brake lever is in good condition, as is the brake lever cable. The throttle cable seems to be working okay. Um, front fender, I think this is an NOS fender. I'm 95% sure. It looks brand new to me. The uh, original uh, the front rim was completely dismantled. The hub was painted and clear coated. And brand new spokes, a brand new rim, and a brand new front tire. So the wheels are essentially brand new. Gorgeous red restoration. Um, again, to, to recreate one of these from scratch, you're going to spend thousands of dollars. So, um, and most of the ones we sell, need a restoration. So to get one that's already done like this, all the heavy lifting's been, been done, so to speak. The um, bin number on the bike, as you can see on the center here, is C, C100. Actually, I don't have the glasses on, so I can't really read it, but I'll read it for the It's a 1965 Honda C100. Uh, bin number R028752. If you have any questions about this absolutely gorgeous museum quality Honda 50, ready to go on to, into your man room or into your museum or put it on the back of your 60s Volkswagen bus. It's a 1965, same year I was born. I venture to guess it's, it's aging a little bit better than me. Uh, beautiful bike. Um, just needs a little TLC uh, to get the car clean, freshen up the fuel, and um, it should be a runner. So if you have any questions, give us a call, 860-454-7024. Good luck bidding on it. God bless America.